All right. Our new puppy. Is Mike Green here? Where's Mike? We, as, you, as many of you saw, we posted up. Is he here? Is he still here? As many of you saw, we put up a picture of um, our new puppy and asked for people to uh, give us suggestions, give us name suggestions for the puppy. About a month before that, we had put up a picture of Sergeant Mike Green of our uh, canine, our patrol canines, and some of his new puppies that he had. Put it up. It got quite a few hits. Uh, about, um, I think, Commander, about um, our chief, about what? About 1,000 hits that it got. 1,000 people went on there. Oh, we love it. It's a great picture. So Mike calls me doing a little bit of bragging about, look how many hits my puppies are getting and everything else. Well, then recently we posted this picture and uh, started, uh, started asking people to name our new puppy. So Sergeant Green is here. He, he is beside himself because his puppy's not getting all the attention they deserve. So he has, he has brought them in today. They were wearing signs earlier that said, don't forget me, I need attention too. Um, and uh, I think they ate the signs, which is part of the problem. So, but we wanted to, uh, we wanted to brag on these two, um, little vet and Sergeant Green for everything he does with our, our canine unit and uh, show off his puppies a little bit. So um, if, uh, if anybody wants one of these, you cannot have them, uh, but uh, you can certainly pet them as they, uh, as they go in the back. So, all right, what happened to their signs? Did they eat them? They ate them. Yeah, they ate the signs. So that's part of the problem. That's why they're not getting the hits. All right, so thank you, Mike. Thank you for everything you do, Chris. Well, when we put this little fella up on Facebook, through uh, the newspaper, through several of the electronic media that went out, it actually reached over 100,000 people that uh, actually got to got to see it. Over 5,000 names were submitted. Some of them were, were the same name that were being submitted over, but over 5,000 people contributed names to our name, the uh, puppy contest. And uh, this little fella is, um, I guess, about nine, nine weeks old now and uh, has uh, become a member of our, our canines uh, at the corrections, at the correctional facility. We use them for just about anything from helping search for uh, criminals to helping search for missing chi um, children to seniors that may, uh, may walk off. Any, any of those things they're used for and they are a magnificent tool for us. The puppy that you see before you and that we'll be bringing in in just a second uh, was actually given to us by the Jimmy Rice Foundation. Some of you may, may remember Jimmy Rice was the young man that was abducted and killed and his family started the foundation. This is one of the many things that that foundation does. So without, um, uh, without further ado, um, if we can bring in our new puppy for the canine correction team. Hey, shut the door. I don't want Mike Green to start crying and stuff. <laughs> this, is, um, this is our new little fella, and uh, he is absolutely adorable. And uh, this is his handler, um, uh, Deputy Conway. And he is uh, actually uh, going to be training the dog. He's actually kind of in training now. Uh, just being around the other, the other dogs and the other canines actually works to our advantage to have him in that uh, mold. So we, uh, we put the name out, or we put the suggestion out. And uh, as I said, we got over 5,000. The one that we selected that our team felt was most appropriate for the dog, for the mission, and uh, for um, just uh, all, all around came from a young lady who lives down in Melbourne, seven-year-old. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna ask her to come up here in just a second, but I wanna tell you a little story about it. Um, she's an avid reader, and uh, she uh, read a book about a horse, and the horse was uh, named what our puppy will now be named. Her father is uh, uh, hoping to become a member of our agency at one point, has, uh, has gone through police academy, and uh, is actually uh, in, the, in the process of trying to uh, become a member of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. She told him, and uh, I'll let her tell you the story as it goes further, but uh, she told him one night at dinner, if you ever get to pick a canine, or if you ever get to have a canine, and you pick the name for it, this is the name you should pick. And uh, he, um, he submitted that name to our contest without her knowing, and uh, of course we had no way of knowing any of this as it was going on, but uh, that is the name that we ended up selecting. So I'm gonna ask Grace to come up and let her stand by. If you want to stand right over here. Oh, you have it. Okay. Here, turn right around. And before you, before you put the collar on, tell everybody what name you selected for our new canine. Turn around. There you go, Grace. I chose a name that is a Sioux Indian name uh, for friend, and that name is Coda. Okay. Thank you. Thank 
Now, if, if you cannot hear all the way back, she chose a name that means friend in uh, Sioux Indian, and that name is Coda, and it's K-O-D-A, is that correct? Yes. All right, K-O-D-A is the name of our new puppy. Now, you've seen us all day long swear in our new members and our new promotion, so I think it's only fitting that we swear in our new, uh, new member of our canine. So with the help of, the, of his handler, I'm gonna swear him in. Can you raise your right paw for me? <laughs> I do solemnly bark. He does solemnly bark. That I will support, protect, and scent. That he will support, protect, and scent. The Constitution and Government. The Constitution and Government. Of the United States. The United States. And of the State of Florida. And of the State of Florida. That I am duly qualified to hold office. That he is duly qualified to hold office. Under the Constitution. Under the Constitution. And that he will well and faithfully. And that he will faithfully. Perform the duties of. Perform the duties of. Bloodhound. Bloodhound. Of Brevard County. Of Brevard County. On which he is now about to enter. Which he is now about to enter. Now the loyalty oath. I, Coda. He, Coda. <laughs> a puppy of the state of Florida. A puppy of the state of Florida. And of the United States of America. The United States of America. And being employed by the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. And being employed by the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. And a recipient of public food. And a recipient of public food. Do hereby solemnly bark. Do solemnly bark. That I support the Constitution. That he supports the Constitution. Of the state of Florida. Of the state of Florida. And of the United States of America. Of the United States of America. And that he will well and faithfully. That he will faithfully. Track down anyone. Track down anyone. He is asked to do so. That he's asked to do so. For the benefit of our citizens. For the benefit of our citizens. Congratulations, little man. <laughs> At this time, I think it's only fitting that Grace gets to uh, pin our dog. She has a collar that has his badge on it. And uh, at this time, Grace, we would ask you to do that, please. <whistles> All right, Grace, turn around and introduce everybody to your new friend, Coda. Go ahead, you can hold it. Hey, it just doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> All right. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Thank you.